Well, all right, guys, let's get right into it. Two high stakes showdowns top the bill on a special top rank on ESPN Saturday, December 9th at the Charles F. Dodge Center Center in Pembroke Pines, Florida. In the main event, Cuban WBO featherweight king Robezi L. Train Ramirez puts his belt on the line against unbeaten Mexican contender Rafael El Divino Espinosa. In the 10-round junior middleweight co-feature, Puerto Rican sensation Xander Zayas squares off against Spain's Jorge Fortilla. Ramirez Espinosa, Zayos Fortilla will be broadcasted live on ESPN, ESPN Deportes, and ESPN Plus beginning at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Pacific. Open quote, we are thrilled to be back in South Florida with a loaded card featuring some of incredibly talented fighters to top-ranked chairman Bob Arum. Ramirez has had his hands full against an undefeated challenger who will not be deterred by the moment. And I know Xander Zayas wants to make a huge statement in front of his humongous South Florida fan base, close quote. Ramirez, 13 wins, one loss, eight by way of knockout, is a two-time Olympic gold medalist. He has been on a dominant trajectory after joining forces with trainer Ishmael Salas. The 29-year-old Southpaw had a tremendous 2022 in which he stopped the Irish veteran Eric Donovan, then unbeaten Puerto Rican Abraham Nova, and Argentine contender Jose Matias Romero. This year has been even better for the fighting pride of Cuba as he soundly defeated former world champion Isaac Dogbo. Ramirez said, open quote, Miami is for many of us Cubans an important meeting point where Spanish is spoken, our heritage is celebrated, and we remember our homeland daily through the city's vibrant culture. Ever since I turned professional, I have wanted to fight near my people in Miami, also where I live. That cherished moment has finally arrived. On December 9th at the Charles F. Dodge Center in Pembroke Pines, I hope to have the support of the Cuban community of Miami and to see our flag waving everywhere, close quote. Espinosa said, open quote, I am happy and grateful for what is happening. The time has come, the opportunity of my life, and I will not waste it. Robezi is a great champion, and I am glad to face someone like him. I know we will have a great fight, and it will go down in boxing history. I am sure of it, close quote. Zaya, 17 wins, 0 losses, 11 by way of knockout, signed with top rank at the age of 16, and has been on a path to superstardom ever since his pro debut in October 2019. Zayas stated, open quote, I'm super motivated to close the year out with one more fight in which I will be able to continue demonstrating the progress of my skills and maturity as a fighter, which I have achieved thanks to the dedication and all the hard work in the gym. The goal on December 9th is to continue showing that I am prepared for the next step, close quote. The ESPN undercard will showcase some of the top ranks best and brightest up and coming talents, including Bruce Shushu Carrington, the fighting pride of Brownsville, Brooklyn, will take on former world title challenger Jason Sanchez. Carrington will attempt to go 5-0 this year in his first scheduled 10-rounder. Sanchez lost a unanimous decision to then WBO featherweight world champion Oscar Valdez in June 2019. Junior middleweight Jahi Tucker looks to bounce back from his first defeat in an eight-rounder against unbeaten Argentine Francisco Daniel Verón. Dominican Olympian Rohan Palanco, 10 wins, 0 losses, 6 by way of knockout, will lock horns against Keith Hunter, 15 wins, 1 loss, 9 by way of knockout, an 8-round junior welterweight tilt. Palanco returns following his most impressive win to date, a 5th-round destruction of Panamanian contender Cesar Francis in July. U.S. Olympian Tiger Johnson is also on the card with 10 wins, 0 losses, 5 by way of knockout, making his 4th appearance of 2023 in an 8-round junior welterweight fight against Mexico's Jimmer Espinosa. Johnson's coming off a hard-earned majority decision over Ricardo Quiros in September. And last but not least, undefeated heavyweight prospect Damian Polish Hussar Kaniba, 12 wins, 0 losses, 7 by way of knockout. A 6'7 bohemoth with an 86 inch reach takes on Scott Alexander with 17 wins, 6 losses, 2 draws, 9 by way of knockout, and an 8 rounder. As there you have it. You know, top rank, I, I do like the stable, of course. I love the stable, and I love how the fights seem to be consistent with who's going to be fighting on the card. Um, always a constant rotation. And we look forward to seeing Tiger Johnson and Bruce Shushu Carrington on that undercard. Uh, Jahi Tucker as well. You know, those are those are three three solid fighters right there that are going to be fighting on the undercard. 
Um, guys, what do you think about Xander Zayas taking on Fortia? Let us know in the comments below who you guys think is going to take that fight. And also the main event, Robezi Ramirez fighting for the first time close to his town where he is now living. Um, you know that the Cubans always ride in Miami. So hope to see a lot of Cuban flags out there on the night of the fight. Del Ortiz is set to return to the ring at a new weight. BoxingScene.com has confirmed that the unbeaten knockout artist will headline a January 6th to zone show versus Frederick Lawson in what will mark his junior middleweight debut. The show is due to take place at Virgin Hotels Las Vegas, confirming a long month venue hold by Golden Boy Promotions with the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Golden Boy President Eric Gomez previously confirmed that January 6th date during the WBO annual convention in early October. The reveal was made in hopes of securing a favorable ranking for Ortiz at his new fighting weight. Ortiz, 19 wins, 0 losses, 19 by way of knockout, has not fought since a ninth round knockout of unbeaten Michael McKinson last August 6th in Fort Worth, Texas, minutes from his hometown in Grand Prairie as part of the greater Dallas area. This win marked his lone fight of 2022, a year slowed down by illnesses. Lawson, 30 wins, 3 losses, 22 by way of knockout, has largely competed at welterweight throughout his 12 plus year career. The 33 year old Ghana native who lives and trains in Chicago has won his last two starts, including a 10 round decision win over Esteban Villalobos this past April 29th in Arlington, Texas. Ironically, the win came on the very card that Ortiz was due to headline versus Stanionis, but instead proceeded with a main event featuring lightweight contender William Cepeda. All right, guys, so it's official. Um, hopefully we do get Virgil Ortiz um, in the ring and we get to see him fight, you know, as long as he's healthy though, that's very, very important. Uh, rhabdomyolysis what really caused it or what really causes the flare-ups or for it to come back he was good this fight was going to be on with Sanionis. last minute canceled so we just really really hope that he's okay and that he is healthy and comes into the ring a full-fledged warrior that he is at the new weight we're excited to see him in there we're big Virgil Ortiz fans so guys what do you think in the comments below? Are you looking forward to seeing Virgil Ortiz make his ring return? Let us know in the comments below. You can find us on Instagram at Sportbox TV Official, X formerly known as Twitter at Sportbox TV. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share the vid. We appreciate all of the support. Take care.